Right, let's look at the uh, step now that we need to take to get our account in Solid Trust Pay running. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm logged into my account and I'm going to go to My Banks and Cards. So I'm going to My Banks and Cards and uh, what we're going to do in here is we're going to enter in our credit card details. All right, so here we are with uh, inside the tab My Banks and Cards, I'm going to go to Add Credit or Debit Card here. Alright, credit card authorization form, next step. Now there's a couple of things here, it's really quite straightforward. Now you may find for some reason Firefox may not uh, open the form uh, and it's possible that Internet Explorer may not open the form. So if you open the form in a browser and it doesn't go, try another browser. Um, you just need to be sure that you've got all the appropriate add-ons for this form to show. So. Uh, if it doesn't show in one browser, try another. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're just going to fill in our details into this form here. Now, just um, be aware, it's got by inputting your name, uh, I legally bind this electronic document. All right, so you're going to put your name in there. Now, don't use the signature form up here. If you do, uh, it doesn't work properly. It actually um, will delay things and uh, basically mess it up totally. So I'm just going to uh, pause the video now and I'm going to enter my details in there and we'll come back and complete the process. Okay, so I've completed the form. We've uh, whited out a couple of things there just for security purposes on the uh, producing of the video. But I've completed, I've put my name in there, I've got uh, my name typed in down the bottom there, and I'm now just going to click on the Done button. Alright, so we're going to go... Enter my Gmail up there, and we're going to go Send. So what it's done is it's rendered this into a PDF format and it's sending the email, all right? So it's a little bit grayed out as it goes through that process. Your email has been sent successfully. Okay. All right, so now we are back at the uh, point where we're going to input our details into the Solid Trust Pay area. So again, I'm just going to pause this video and we're going to put that information in. Okay, so we've uh, inputted our detail in here, we've added the uh, credit card number again, the expiry date and the other details that they require there, fairly straightforward stuff, so I'm just going to submit this now. Alright, so my card has been successfully uh, entered, I can uh, wait five to seven days to see a review of the authorization, so it does take a wee while, uh, and we can do that through there. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, fund the account now as well. So bear with me as we go and fund the account. I'm going to select my country. I'm going to go with uh, US dollars and continue. Alright, and we're going to now fund the account. Alright, so we're going to fund this initially off our credit card here. So let's go into the credit card options here. Alright, now it's just a matter of how much you want to put in here. Now, the amount isn't uh, really that important, although in this case I'm just going to put in $100. Okay, so we're going to go, sorry, $150. Alright. Um, credit card or debit card. Alright, so understand that there is a fee involved in this and there's also administration fee. So uh, with this, just be aware that if you're putting in small amounts, then that $1.50 per transaction can start to eat into it a little bit. All right, so um, I've got uh, a minimum, or a maximum at least, of $150 anyway, being a, a new member. So I'm now going to click on there, and I'm going to use my secondary password. put in two passwords when we set this up initially. All right, so go with that. All right, now I now have to pick the card and the card is there. Um, it was in a drop down menu. I've got to put the CCV, which is the last three digits off the back of the card and also put in um, a state or province. 
okay so and if it's not available as it says here put na all right now i'm just going to again pause this and get those information done all right so i've entered in my uh ccv which is the cvv at least which is the three digit uh, security code on the back of the card now this is a secure site you don't need to worry about the security of any of that information all right i have to agree to the um the terms and conditions of solid trust pay there and i'm going to complete my transaction so what's happening is 150 dollars us is going to be charged onto my credit card here all right, so we now come back with a message. Thank you, your registered credit card deposit for 100 US dollars has been successfully submitted. All right, so this will take some time. It's not an instant thing, but I have completed the process there that I need to do. Let me also say that uh, when you enter your uh, credit card details in and we use that uh, PDF uh, form that we created and we put our email address in there, what happens is that uh, is then emailed, a copy of the form is emailed to us so we can go online and uh, take a look at that form if we like. So um, here we have, uh, let's download the form and open it quickly and we're going to grey out a few things in there but basically there's the form that I signed and it has there from my own record so I can save that either digitally or print it out and I've got that information there. All right, so hope you followed those stages so far. We've opened the account, we've got the account started with a uh, credit card transaction of 150 US dollars. All right, so uh, let's just uh, hop back into Solid Trust Pay and just to confirm that the deposit has gone into our account. Now remember, this is less, uh, once it comes into the accounts, it's less uh, the percentage and less the transaction fee that's applied. So it won't be the full $150 that I process. Now, at the moment I'm sitting in an overview of my profile and my Solid Trust Pay. If I go to Account Overview, um, we'll find at the bottom of the page we have that uh, amount pending. So what we've got up here is pending there, but if we walk, go down the bottom here, we find that we've got a deposit by credit card, $150 US, process today, and the status is pending. So that'll take a wee while to go through, and once it's through, we can then utilize those funds through Solid Trust Pay for whatever we want. So I hope that uh, gets that clear for you. Um, reasonably straightforward and uh, once you've got the hang of it, once you get the account opened, um, you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time.